What's up everyone, Renji here and we are on part 2 of our unboxing the first Boxu box that we got from Japan and it's coming right up. <laughs> Alright, so... Our last unboxing, we had a bunch of snacks that we tried, and now I still have a whole bunch. Uh, I think we only did a third the last time, so uh, I haven't had dinner. So let's see how much we can uh, plow through uh, today. So I want to start first with uh, the organic uh, genmaicha, All right. Japanese green tea blended with roasted rice. It's actually one of my favorite teas if it has that toasted uh, nutty flavor. So we'll we'll try this out. Genmaicha is a combination of green tea and roasted brown rice. Rice was originally added to help extend a smaller amount of expensive tea across many cups. From its humble origins as a prudent economic measure, Genmaicha has remained popular in Japan for its warm and comforting taste. So we'll try it. I already have a... Oh, it's hot. I already have um, hot water prepared. And this is from a cup, uh, a teacup that I actually bought from... Uh, I got this from uh, Tsukiji Market, uh, my last visit. So we're going to try this out. Tea is always good. Especially if we're gonna be munching on a whole bunch of stuff. It's nice to have some warm tea to Warm the body so we're gonna just dip it in here and Just let it steep for a while Okay um, I'm just gonna do a random one Maybe not so random. This is the Hokkaido red bean donuts, so I love donuts So let's see how how will this uh taste maybe let's let's read the thing first D here we go these delicious donuts are filled with anko red bean paste made with azuki beans from hokkaido comforting and rich they they're a perfect snack for colder weather so this is a vegetarian uh mm. donut so it doesn't have meat or i guess any meat products oh let's see uh, so just smelling it I can smell the red bean and the flour with the donut see it has a texture it's not as soft it's not as greasy oh there's a, there's a little there's a little grease in there and if you can see it there you go it's a shiny um, first bite is a little dry Of course, it's not as fresh as maybe, you know, just right outside the right, right off the oven, but it's try again. Mm. I like the subtlety of the red bean paste. It's not super sweet. I've had some red bean paste before. That's very sweet. This one is not too sweet, but the the donut itself is a little dry, so it makes you, it's making me a little thirsty right off the bat, and I've only had two bites. But for an afternoon snack, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty dry. I'm not a big fan of, uh, I like fluffy, uh, moist donuts. It's not bad though. It's just not great. I don't know if I want donuts that flew over 7,000 miles. I'd like it fresh out of the fryer or the oven. Oh, so this tea, it has that nutty flavor. It's, it's, it, it, you don't taste a lot of the green tea. The rice is, is pretty much taking the stage, the toasted rice. Oh, I love it. It's very, it, it, just the warmth of it as it, as it goes down your throat. 
and just the heat toastiness it's nutty really good so we're gonna save that and want to finish that right now okay so let's try something salty I want something salty I don't know what this is this is the puku puku Thai puku puku Thai chocolate oh it is chocolate Thai or red snapper are associated with New Year celebrations as a symbol of good fortune. This snack shares that lucky shape but is filled with an airy chocolate mousse and the two mochi wafers are a nod to a more traditional Japanese sweet, monaka. So this is a sweet one. It may contain shellfish. Um, so we'll see. Common allergens is milk, wheat, and soy. So if you have any of those allergies... Um, this may be your last meal, depending on how severe it is. So, you might want to avoid this if you have any of those allergies. Alright, so let's see. It's very light. Oh. So it's it's shaped like one of those, I, I forgot what it's called, those, uh, those cakes with red bean paste that you see on the market in Japan, in Tokyo, or uh, pretty much all over. But this is a, it's like, this is like wafer. So it's hard, hard shell. Um, it's like a wafer shell. Um, and let's see what's inside. Mmm. Mmm. It is super wafery. And it has like a whipped, really light whipped chocolate inside. It's like hazelnut milk chocolate. More milk chocolate. I remember in the Philippines, there's a snack. It's called wafer. It's a wafer snack. Reminds me of that. But it's those really thin slice of wafers with chocolate filling. Um, rectangular and you just eat it it's kind of like that but this is so much thicker and there's has this has so much more filling mm. a really good snack I like this it's comforting I think it's because it reminds me of my childhood um, but yeah I like it it makes me this one makes me happy I'm gonna have to vacuum my floor afterwards because it just it is very crumbly. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Lots of vacuuming today. A little sweet, chocolatey, nice soft fluffy texture and contrast with, with the crispiness uh, of the wafer. It's really nice. So the wafer is really crispy, but it's light, light and airy. Mm. Oh, I love this. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I was shooting for something salty, but I guess we didn't get that. Okay, this is done. Uh, let's see, what's this? Let's find out what this is. Oh. This is the Don Don Yaki snack. Named after the sound of the beating taiko drums heard throughout festivals in Japan, these savory senbei are fried and marinated in tonkatsu sauce for a flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Okay. So this is more on the savory uh, side of things. Common allergens, milk, peanuts, wheat, and soy. And this is also vegetarian. So for the veggies out there, this will work for you guys. See that nice, cute, it's a nice satin packaging with, uh, it's a green, oh, it's yellow. But little taiko drummers. So let's see this. Okay, so these are little crackers. It's like croutons. So it's shaped like a crouton. Maybe we can eat this with salad. Let's see. Itadakimasu. Oh. 
it is very tangy. Like the, as soon as it hits your tongue, it's like a spike of acid in there. This is more junk foody. It tastes a lot like junk food. But the flavor wise, I'm trying to decipher the flavor. Um, it is a little sweet, but more tangy. I'm not a big fan of the aftertaste. It has like an oily aftertaste. You know, it's fried, right? Mm. But it's very light. This would be really good with salad, I think. It would be an interesting uh, uh, texture to the salad. So if uh, I would probably toss this with uh, just arugula, olive oil, salt, and pepper. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. And this, I think, would be uh, really good. Oh, it's almost like vinegary. Because that because that tangy sour, it's almost at the edge of that. It's almost tastes it almost tastes like vinegar, but yeah. But you can't stop eating it. Mmm, that's good. I like that a little bit, not not too much, but it's it's interesting. Okay, let's try something else. What else do we have here? We have this. Oh, this has uni. What? I'm a big fan of uni. I love uni. So let's see. Oh, yeah, it is uni rice cracker made by Bonchi. These delicious fried crackers pull their lovely umami flavor from uni, sea urchin, and soy sauce. It's savory and salty without being overly fishy, and the cracker's oblong shape even looks like the actual sea urchin. Huh. So this is a savory flavor. Common allergens are e eggs, wheat, and soy. And also contains... Sorry, I just burped. Also contains mollusk, shellfish, alcohol. Why would it have alcohol? I'm not complaining, but... Oh, uni snack. Who would have thunk? Now I'm excited because I love uni. Oh. So it's like a rice puff again. It's just like a rice puff. Um, you can smell the soy. So as soon as you smell it, though, you get you get the whiff of soy. I don't get the uni yet. And that's what I'm kind of... Uh, so I'm excited. Okay. I'm still waiting for the uni. Hmm. There's that seafoody flavor, like it's more nori, I think. I, I, I don't see the uni. I don't I don't taste the uni. Like it's just like a a salty, not super salty, but like the soy. It's like a soy puff. That's about it. Maybe the, I had a bad one. Let me try another one. Now, I think I overexpected. The uni wasn't there on this one, guys. Like, the uni wasn't there. There's no hint, not even a hint of uni. Third one. You always have to go for the third round. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. No uni. A little disappointed there. I got excited. Now I want real uni. Okay, there, well, we only have three, so I think we can plow through these three. I would save this the last for the last one. Okay, this one is a looks like a black bear. This is a black sesame taiko, kumamon design. 
Each of these CD drums are handmade in Kumamoto, hometown of Kumamon, by roasting almonds and sesame seeds and mixing them by hand with a mizuami, or sugar syrup, over heat. They're then hand-pressed into discs and left, in, left to cool into this deliciously nutty snack. So this is a sweet one. Uh, common allergens are tree nuts and soy. So for those of you allergic to tree nuts, not for you. Um, and soy, so if you have um, some kind of uh, allergy to soy, this is... So it looks like, it looks like one of those sesame seed uh, crunchies. That, that's very common on a at Asian markets. So, but this is Japanese. I, I've never seen it like this, shaped like a disc. I've seen the cubed ones, um, but we'll see. It comes in this, it's like a Petri dish. Um, it's like a Petri dish with a, si a silica, I guess so, so it doesn't to, to absorb the moisture. Cause it is like a, it's like a, a disc almost like a puck see that see all the nuts in there so it has almonds and roasted sesame seed and then uh, mixed with syrup sweet syrup and then pressed so you can imagine what the the touch is like it's a little not too moist but it's not super dry let's try it out Mm. Just as I expected, just sesame seeds. The toasted sesame seeds. It's really nice with... Then you got a mixture of almond. I think it has a good ratio of sesame to almond. So you got... So when you start chewing on it, you get... And you start biting. You get the sesame seed and then almond. Sesame seed, sesame seed, almond. Sesame seed, sesame seed, almond, almond. So, I now I'm going to have to floss again. I love how stable it is. I've had other, other ones where you bite it and this cracks in half. So this tells me that it has a really good amount of syrup. Not a bad thing. It helps with the moisture. Because you don't want this. Sometimes they're really dry. And it makes you super thirsty. This one, not so much because I think it's there's there's enough moisture in there to not make it thirsty. So it's not super dry. Mm. I really enjoy this. It's a little big though. I wish they made it a little smaller. But I think one piece of this and coffee or tea will be really yummy but I'm not complaining this is really good I might be able to finish this one mm. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. so far this is my second favorite Right after the, what's my other one? Oh, the, the tea, and then this one. Mmm, really good. Okay. I'm gonna save this for later. So excuse me if I have sesame seeds between my teeth. It's just it's just the name of the game. You eat sesame seeds, they go in your teeth. In between <laughs> your teeth. I might need to get more hot water. Uh okay, I got three more. Let's start with this. This is like a cream puff. Okay, so let's look for this. Oh, 
Oh, this one's not... Did we get a missing one? Oh, here we go. This is a, a puff. So what it looks like from the from the bag. So this is a Funwa Rimeijin Mochi Puffs Kinako. Echigo Seika transforms mochi into the crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection using a secret proprietary process. The puffs are finished with a dusting of Kinako, which is roasted soybean powder, for a wildly addicting, sweet, nutty flavor. Okay. I dig it. Sweet and nutty. Um, let's see. They make these bags hard to get into. This this bag has, it's almost like fabric. It has like a weaving. It's not just a pure bag. It has like a weaving. It has like, I don't know what it's called, but it has like fibers in there. It's interesting. Oh, this one is like puffy soft not too super soft but not super dry hard that's itadakimasu mm. i feel like it it as soon as it hits your tongue it just melts that's pretty cool it melts it's like cotton you know how cotton candy when it touches your tongue it just like disintegrates it's like that this is like super it's almost like you know you're gonna bite to it, but as soon as it gets the moisture from your mouth, we like. Brrr. You don't need teeth for this. Mm -mm. So as soon as it dissolves, it turns into like a pasty texture, and it's it is nutty. You feel like there's like powdered. That's what it says, powdered soybean. There's, a, there's that powder, pasty, sweet. So, I think the whole shape of this is just a delivery method. But really, once it hits your mouth, it's almost like eating, not toothpaste, but it, it, it gets very pasty. Mmm. Nutty, sweet, very interesting. I like it. Okay. This is quite enjoyable because it's not something that you, or I, I'm, I'm going to speak for myself. It's not something that I, I get to experience a lot, this kind of texture and flavor combination. So when it's new to my palate, uh, it, I, I enjoy it. I get super excited. Mm. Mm. The powder, I think I got one where there's a lot of powder. And just like coated my tongue. And then like it starts getting tingly with the sugar. Ah, I love it. I'm, I, 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 this is definitely I'm, something I'm going to finish right now. Mm. I only have one left. The rest are crumbs. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Okay, we got two more. Two more left. I'm going to pause. I'm going to get more water. Okay, we are down to our last two snacks. So which one should we try first? I got this little cookie and the uh, little green tea. It's green. I know that my green screen is just screwing up, but this is green tea. Cake. Cake or cookie? Cake or cookie? Let's go with the cookie first. Let's see what kind of cookie this is. This is the Aomori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable. So it is a sable cookie. Um, this cookie uses apples exclusively from Aomori, Japan's apple prefecture. Okay, this is nice. The addition of sweet apple caramel butter gives this sable style cookie a yakoi. 
Yakoi is uh, translates to soft and chewy texture. So this is sweet. This is vegetarian. Common allergens are milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. See how it has the apple caramel. I thought it was chocolate in the beginning, just based on how it looks, but. Let's see. It's like a really let me smell it. Oh, I can smell the apple. Oh wow. I'm not a big apple guy. I mean I like apple products, but in terms of apple the fruit, I I don't enjoy I like it, I don't crave for it. So let's just put it that way. I don't like biting. I can't open my mouth that much to bite an apple so if I have to eat an apple I have to cut it uh, and slice it which is a lot of work um, so the the effort to satisfaction ratio isn't all there so I don't eat a lot of it but if it's there I'll eat it anyway I digress uh, so oh it's a nice apple smell like you, you by looking at it you wouldn't think that it smelled like an apple Apple and butter. You definitely smell the butter. Okay, let's give this a shot. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, wow. The butter hits you first. And then a steady flow of apple flavor. Followed by that silky caramel sweetness it's not overly sweet like a typical caramel it's like toothache sweet it's very subtle it's very so it's almost like just brown like it's just like brown sugar like a hint of brown sugar not really very caramelly is that a word caramelly but it's nice it's not as sweet as you might or as I might as I have expected because normally when I see a cookie like this I my brain's like oh it's that's gonna be sweet and I'm not big into sweets, um, but this is really nice. Let me try it again. Second bite. It crumbles, and then you hit you, you, the first thing that hits you is the butter. Good butter, apple, and then caramel. So it's, so so the flavor is very layered, and it seemed it's it's almost like time release. Where it, you 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 get the butter first, then the apple, and then the caramel. Hmm. Hmm. This would be a really good dessert. Like after a really good meal of maybe steak and roasted veggies, and then this is a dessert. Hmm. I'd be happy. I mean, I'm happy right now, but I'm just saying. Hmm. Hmm. I love Japanese snacks. So, the next box is on its way. It takes a few weeks, a couple of weeks, I think, once they send it out. So it's a good gap. I think we're gonna be doing this twice a month, right? So obviously, I'm not gonna go through and eat a whole box of snacks. In one sitting I mean I did like this is like two-thirds of it today and there's only a few left over but I eat healthy-ish most of the week so I think this is just a good <laughs> excuse to just munch on these Japanese snacky wackies mmm now I'm getting more and more of the caramel I think the caramel lingers more. So you hit the once all is said and done, once everything once it's out, the flavor that stays in your mouth is the caramel. Mm. Mm. I just got a fresh batch of tea. So it's hot. I 
That's good. That's good tea. I gotta get more of these tea. Hmm. Last but not the least, we're gonna do the. It says cute. Cute. You don't get the color. <laughs> see, it's see through. It's not really see through. Just so you know, I'm using a green screen. Um, let me remove the green screen so you can kind of see. Okay. This is the color. Cute. Cute selection. Matcha chocolate stick cake. This soft cake uses matcha from Uji, Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha. Pairing healthy matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips gives this cake a rich, subtly sweet flavor. Okay, so when we talk matcha, Kyoto is, is the capital. That's where th those were the high quality, good quality matcha is made. So I'm glad that this is uh, actually from Kyoto. So now I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, we're going to stay on without the green screen so you can see the color. So we don't have my Japanese, my Japanese background that I created just for this show, or for not for this show, but for this segment of the show, which is Japanese snacks. If you didn't notice, it is a moving background. You see all those cherry blossoms. I was supposed to go to Japan last March for the cherry blossoms and then covid so i'm gonna try again next year see if uh, they open up for us anyway all right i'm gonna take out the green screen so it's like a stick of cake oh see it broke already what's in there oh it has bittersweet chocolate chips so it has a bits of chocolate chip in there bittersweet and let's see so I smell I just cake I smell the oil you don't really smell the matcha I get a bite itadakimasu mm, really moist so matcha itself is bitter already this one is not so bitter it's more earthy and then you get the hit of those those the chocolate bits that's dark chocolate bitter so this is more in the bitter side semi-sweet not too sweet more bitter but the texture is it's moist nicely done on on the moisture of the cake hmm it is very earthy. It's not sweet at all. Where it's supposed to be, because it's green tea. Mm. Okay. Not like amazing, amazing, but I see how this can be good for in the afternoon with afternoon tea. Let's try it with a tea. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I see sitting on the patio, having green tea. Um, I wouldn't do matcha green tea because it's gonna be redundant. But just like like that tea with the rice, toasted rice, it's pretty good. Mmm. I love it. Now what I'm going to do right now is finish this. I think this would be a good finish. The toasted <laughs> the toasted seaweed disc. Mm. 
Mm. That's a good finish. Just the sugar syrup again. I love this thing. So, I think that's it. There's three. There's actually three more pieces, but this is. Um, I'm gonna put back my green screen. But we are. We already did this last time. Um, so they came with like some of them came in, came in twos, which is pretty cool. I actually like this one, the strawberry. But overall, I'm happy with this boxu box, and this is the first box, right? So there's really no specific theme. Uh, I think when you subscribe, this is the, we every we all get the same first box, and then whatever's for your next box, whatever's the theme for that month, that's what you're gonna get. And I think the one, the one that's coming up is Taste of Kyoto. So a lot, so so all of the snacks in that second box is coming from, from Kyoto, which would be interesting since it's fall there right now. So I'd be curious to see what what are what what are the fall snacks or if there's such a thing anyway. But again, Boxu subscription box. It's I think it's worth it for forty five. Is it forty four dollars? You get a lot. That was a lot of snacks. And every time I go to the Japanese market, I would probably spend maybe twenty bucks a trip. So. And with that trip, it's you get the same. It, it gets old because it's the same thing. They they rarely have new snacks, so you get the same ones over and over. And that's what makes this pretty cool is that you get to try a lot of different ones, and they're all from Japan. They're all they're all flown in. So I haven't seen. I haven't looked hard enough. Okay, but I haven't seen any of these snacks anywhere. But may maybe I'll see one or two uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the Japanese market. But majority of it, it's not something that that that's available at least here in California. So I think I'm I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna try a few more boxes. Um, I do tend I enjoy it. It's it's nice. Um, and my plan is the ones for the ones that I like. Actually, I have to mark the the book because it comes with the book right so mark it so i know what to get next so if ever i run into any of these somewhere i know what i know what to get i can buy those individually i think in boxer you can buy individual snacks too at least the ones that you like so that's pretty cool but it's probably going to take a few weeks to get to you but it's good to have that option anyway um week this 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 is our conclusion uh i love the snacks i hope you guys like them too even though you can't really taste it but hopefully i'm describing it uh in such a way that entices you to hey i want to get that box too um so i do have a very very uh what's the word i would say sophisticated it's too it's too bougie um sensitive i have a very sensitive palate when it comes to flavor texture um and heat so i'm doing my best and this is part of a learning process too for me to be able to describe uh the food what the texture the flavor how they interact and the chemistry of it and because that's you know that's something that i enjoy when i whenever i watch uh, a, a food show I get to appreciate it when the host or whoever it is can describe it in such a way that that you can almost taste it or you can imagine what it tastes like or how it feels so it's a learning process for me doing this and uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this uh, unboxing tasting is, is for me to be able to practice that right because that would be weird if you're with your friends or with your family over dinner and then uh, you really can not talk about the maybe you can for a little bit but after a while they'll probably like throw rice at you 
so I get uh, in this way I get to practice how I describe food um, because I'm really passionate about food food makes me happy and I love that I can share this with you so if this resonates or if this is something uh, 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 that you enjoy too uh, feel free to subscribe and every you know again with this this segment of the of the the sh show it's not really a show it's just it's a youtube channel <laughs> this segment for boxes for japanese snacks comes i will do it twice a month so please subscribe like uh if you like this video hit the like button so youtube will show it to other people as well uh, i don't plan on being famous but I, I i like serving people and i think this is part of service right if you can learn something from this then i've served I've done my part. So again, I'm babbling now. So I will see you on the next unboxing for box number two when it comes. All right. I'll catch you guys later.